Okay, folks, it's July 8th, 2020. I am embarking on a narrated drive in the Norwich, Connecticut area. And I am currently at a stop uh, red light. To the left of me is a Shell gas station. To the right of me is a mobile gas station. I am in the Norwich Town section. We're about a half an hour away from severe thunderstorms. Um, hopefully I can get this drive in before we get hammered because I have, I'm operating a GoPro magnetically connected to the front of this vehicle. It's waterproof, but I prefer not to get it wet. So right now we're heading on to Interstate 395 in uh, Connecticut, Norwich, Connecticut. And we're going to be going south. I have not put this GoPro to the test yet as far as highway speeds, but it's a 95 pound magnet. I'm not worried about it flying off. And if it does fly off, which is virtually impossible, I have a tether attached to the front section of the undercarriage of the car. So, and that's attached with parachute cord. So basically it's not going anywhere. All right, we got a little road construction up here. We got some grooved pavement. We're gonna hit that right now. And we are now off the grooved pavement. So moderate amount of traffic right now on 395 South. I'm doing approximately 75, 77 miles an hour right now. And the GoPro mount, magnetic mount, is holding up perfectly. Exit 11, straight ahead. Some more groove pavement. On exit 11, there is some housing and lodging, Holiday Inn, Hampton Inn, signs on the side of the road. The clouds are getting thicker as the feel of rain. Again, we are basically a half an hour away from severe thunderstorms. So I gotta try to squeeze in this ride here. Starbucks, McDonald's, Burger King, there's a sign on the side of the road indicating these establishments are up ahead. There's signs all over the road that indicate grooved pavement, and it's only a short section of grooved pavement here and there, very patchy, as we pass under this bridge. Weakest Hill Road Bridge, there's some more grooved pavement. All right, we're approaching exit 11, which I'm going to take. The sign indicates if you continue down this road, you will eventually reach Salem, Connecticut, but we're not going to be going that far. Okay, here we go. We're off on Route 11 or excuse me, exit 11. And I'm going to take a right. I'm going to go down to Walmart and I'm going to turn around and then go up the road and kind of narrate this drive, kind of moderate by naming buildings, landmarks, uh, and as I drive, I'm not going to get them all in. Let's face reality. It's impossible. I mean, I have to pay attention. But, for example, to my right is the Holiday Inn. It used to be the Sheridan Inn back in the day when I was a kid. Uh, 
when they shot a movie over here, I recall Nick Nolte once uh, enjoying himself down there at the uh, at the bar. I wasn't there, but I heard stories, rumors. You know, you live in Norwich, you hear these rumors over the years. And that's a big one. The name of the movie, uh, incidentally, was Everybody Wins. Deborah Winger also starred in that film. Okay, so we're proceeding down the road here, and to my right is Goodwill. There's a small plaza called Briar Hill Plaza. To my left is, I don't know, a credit union of some kind, but here's Walmart and Big Y to my left, which, if I make the light here, um, I'm just going to do a little sweep around the parking lot. Big thank you signs all over the place. They got lobster on sale down here, sushi. All right, so straight ahead we have Walmart and Big Y. Let's take a right, do a little sweep. So far so good on the rain. Although the wind is kicking up a little bit. So that tells me uh, the storm is coming. Do a little run around the parking lot here. People with masks. This is the uh, era of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it's a coronavirus that's really changing the way life in America runs and operates. You see people with masks. You see stores. Um, rerouting people in certain entrances and out special doors, maintaining six foot distance limits. Um, it's a serious situation. Very serious. I mean, you can, the coronavirus is a virus that you can catch and survive quite easily with minimal amount of damage or you can die. You can end up on a ventilator and die quickly and nobody can visit you. Um, it's extremely catchy so you would basically be in the hospital for a week or two alone. No visitors, no family, nobody. And eventually you would die. Potentially. If you didn't die you could live and you might have permanent damage. So again, this is a serious situation. Gentleman to my right has a sign, uh, times are hard, help is greatly appreciated. He's apparently trying to collect money from cars at the red light here, exiting Walmart. Uh, incidentally, straight ahead is uh, condos or apartments called the Village at Briar Hill. We're not going to go up there. We're going to take a right. And it's uh, Old Salem Turnpike, according to my GPS, if that's accurate, which I assume it is. Okay. Large cemetery to my right. Uh, beautiful grounds. Department of Transportation to my left, if you take a ride down there. It's a place I got my driver's license when I was 16 years old. Hampton Inn on my right. Uh, if I wanted to get on 395, I would do so at the exit I just passed. Okay, green light. I'm getting lucky with a lot of the lights today. Well, my luck just ran out. Here we go. Sign to my right says... Welcome to Norwich, Connecticut, the Rose of New England. That's kind of the uh, Norwich back in the old days, you know, the 1800s, or I'm not really sure, early 1900s, somebody came up with the term the Rose of New England, and it kind of stuck. And you'll hear it occasionally. I mean, you see signs and the Rose Arts Festival, you know, they, this ro they have a beautiful rose garden in Norwich. Probably, I mean, arguably with the most prestigious rose garden in uh, Connecticut, I would imagine. Dental offices to my right. Bank, Berkshire Bank to my right. More dental offices to my right. Uh, 
Okay, what do we got? Starbucks to my right. To my left, Liberty Bank. To my right, there is a psychic. Um, to my left, it's called Salem Plaza. Subway, Verizon, Liberty Bank. Chiropractor to my right. So we head down the road here. There is a place called Norwich Landing. Staples is in there. T-Mobile, Great Scott, River Valley, Ambulatory Surgery Center. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. To my right is a Chipotle restaurant that is under construction. To my left is a Burger King. Also to my left is a Five Guys and a 99 restaurant and pub. Now these restaurants and pubs, to my left incidentally is a mobile, to my right is a uh, speech therapist. To my right is an old gas station shell that's never been rehabilitated. Universal discount package store to my right. To my left, East Great Plains Fire Department. Boy, I'm not going to be able to get all this in, folks, but I'm, I'm doing my best here. To my left is Wendy's. To my right is Eastern Connecticut Savings Bank. Allstate to my left. To my right is Marcus Plaza, former site of Zares. Uh, back when I was a kid, Zares was there. Now it's ShopRite, TJ Maxx, Pet Value, Sally's, People's Bank. To my right is a Popeye's uh, restaurant. To my left is AT&T, Phones, Game Exchange, and Little Caesar Pizza. To my right is Westside Medical Center. To my left is another Physician One Urgent Care Facility. To my right, a building burned down a couple of years ago. To my left is a printing place, Bank of America to my right. To my right is law offices and a tattoo parlor right next to each other. To my left is a car wash. To my left is a Sunoco gas station. To my right is a Shell gas station. I am currently on West Main Street in Norwich, Connecticut. Uh, the clouds are moving in. We're going to do everything we can to avoid this thunderstorm during this drive. To my left is Greater Jewelers, one of the better jewelers in the area. Granite City Electrical Supply Lighting. Monroe Mufflers to my left. To my right is a Dunkin' Donuts. Also to my right is Norwich Smiles Family Dentistry. To my left is the site of the former Village Green in Norwich, currently Jack's Brick Oven Pizzeria. To my right, more attorneys. Also, O'Reilly's Auto Parts, Westgate Cleaners, a barber shop. It used to be Lamparelli's when I was a kid. Now it is, I don't know the name of it, but it's a barber shop. Gentleman walking across the street in front of me in a mask with a big black mask on. As he walks up Osgood Street, Chelsea Groton Bank to my right. To my left is Westgate Center with Family Dollar. Sherwin-Williams paint. To my right is Sitco gas station, a laundromat. To my left is Walgreens. To my right is CVS. A lot of pharmacies around here. To my left is also Eblin's Clothing. Willow Tree Plaza uh, is on my left. It contains surplus unlimited, surplus furniture, office furniture, AutoZone, and Fat Cat restaurant. Not Fat Cats. Fat Cat. To my right, Old Times Restaurant, very popular. They say open and take out delivery. To my left, Dollar General, another dollar store, and also a phys uh, physical therapy building. To my right is the former West End Medical Equipment um, business that is now out of business. And uh, the last I read, or you know, the rumor was that a hot yoga. Um, instructor was going to move in there and they were going to do hot yoga but the coronavirus um, has eliminated the plans of a lot of businesses and I don't know I, hot yoga is just not going to happen at the, at the current moment in this uh, time in history to my left is a sign professional sign making shop a dance company where they teach kids how to dance to my right is a large mall well a mini mall several pizza parlors and you know Firestone to my left a Baptist church to my left Norwich Fire Department to my 
left. To my right is Computech Auto Repair, Viking Fuel, Wonder and Hostess Breads, Putnam Bank to my right. Um, I'm driving into the uh, city of Norwich, right in the heart of, heart of uh, downtown Norwich. American Ambulance to my right. Ron Aliano uh, started that business many years ago very successfully. Benjamin DeMond Memorial Bridge, that's the name of this bridge. To my left is an enormous parking garage. To my right is the Norwich Marina at American Wharf. Um, boy, I literally, it's going to be impossible for me to get all these built businesses in, but I'm going to do my best. Straight ahead, if you can, if you can see that it's a building that's unoccupied, but it's the former Dunkin' Donuts in Norwich. Uh, also to the right of that is the Flatiron Building, a beautiful building that's unfortunately unoccupied. Mercantile Exchange to my left, huge parking garage to my left. To my right is Farmers Market. Um, it's really. Thames Plaza to my left, by the way. It's it's just a nice uh, waterfront park. Um, there's a gazebo there. Another giant parking garage to my left. Um, the name of this is Howard T. Brown Memorial Park. I'm going to try to shift lanes here without getting too much trouble. Okay, we, we did it. Anderson Law Firm to my right. To my left is an octagonal building that appears to be empty. To my right, another law office, Randall Ortega, attorney at law. Um, fire chief, uh, incidentally, is directly in front of me from the Norwich Fire Department. I see flashing lights. Uh, there's a car up on a uh, tow truck, so there's some kind of accident or something's going on here. I, I'm not 100% sure, but whatever. There's people on cell phones and pointing and there's all kind of stuff going on. To my left is Norwich Superior Court. To my right is several law offices. Uh, the sign on one of them in brass says Brown, Jacobson, Jewett, and Ladone attorneys at law. Straight ahead is the Warrigan Hotel in which Abraham Lincoln once stayed and spoke. To the left is the former Norwich Savings Society, People's Bank, and now it is a church, Castle Church. Um, I don't really know. Apparently that was purchased a year ago by the church, and uh, it's a beautiful building. Architecturally very significant. To my extreme right is the Shannon Building. And we're in the heart of Norwich right now on Main Street. Several buildings, they sell cell phones. Um, there's a restaurant to my left, Mexican restaurant. To my right is Eastern Bank, Salvation Army to my left, the Otis Library to my left, Chelsea Groton Bank, beautiful building to my left. To my right is Connecticut, I don't know what it is, it's a famous building, but I. I I missed the, I missed the uh, sign. To the right is the former YMCA building. To my left, the former Elks Club. I'm going to take a left. Burnham Square. We are technically in Burnham Square. Former site of the Marguerite building on my right. It's no longer there. It was demolished probably in the 80s or 90s. Right now, uh, Butch's Luncheon at breakfast club is on my right. I don't know if that's open or not. Penmac or Pemac is a building to my right. I, business, I don't know what it is. Former site of Norwich Regional Technical School way back. These buildings to my right. Right now I'm on North Main Street. To my left is Norwich Pizza Palace. Been there for years. Uh, Norwich Department of Public Utilities to my right. To my left, it appears to be an auto sales 
as okay smith brothers transmission to my right to my left savage hardware has been out of business for years it's a shame because they were the best street stuff they sell motorcycles and motorcycle equipment driving towards the greenville section of norwich to my left is i believe it's saint mary's church yes a absolutely beautiful structure architecturally significant to the city um huge absolutely enormous church all right i'm on central avenue in greenville right now it's a funeral parlor on my right several multi-family homes to my left and right there's a skate shop i assume that is skateboarding to my right is also a uh, Greenville Drugstore. President Bill Clinton came there many years ago as president, promoting one of his uh, policies. To my right is a gas station. To my right is also Leader Store, very famous uh, furniture store in this area. Several businesses, solution services, multifamily homes on both sides of the street. Uh, too many businesses to mention. Jerry's Appliances. Once had Jerry out to the house and he fixed uh, a dishwasher problem that I was having. More multifamily houses to the left and to the right on Central Avenue. And straight ahead is Central Laundromat. As the clouds move in and the wind kicks up, to my right, the floor covering shop. To my right, A&L Auto Service. To my right, former Bids Tavern. You can't really, you're probably not going to be able to see it. It's to my extreme right, it's slightly behind me. To my right, discount liquor store. Approaching to my right, 86 bar, 86 bar. Also to my right, just up ahead here, Dunkin' Donuts. There is a food mart and a smoke shop. Okay, I'm gonna take a left up here. What do we have? To my left is patch and leather motorcycle apparel. Also, H&T Mini Mart. Straight ahead of me is a dollar store. There are a lot of dollar stores in Norwich. Green light, okay, let's see here. To my right, extreme right, you won't be able to see it, but it's Vacatura's Bakery. Famous bakery in Norwich, been there forever. As long as I can remember, when I was a kid, we'd get grinders there. I'm heading up Boswell Avenue right now. Sandy Lane is to my right. Kendall Street is to my right. Some nice homes to my right, to my left, Baker Street to my right. To my left is 14th Street. In Greenville, uh, they name streets by number, a lot of them, 13th, 14th, 12th. To my right is McKenna's Flowers and Plants. Large group of people with a dog crossing the street in front of me. 12th Street to my left. I'm not going to go over every street there because it's just numbers in reverse, but you get the picture. Kind of a good idea back in the, back in the old days. Uh, easy to remember. As we drive up Boswell Avenue, Traffic is very light. To my right, Prentice Lane. Mohegan Park Road to my right. If you took that, you would go straight up into a beautiful park, which is called Mohegan Park. Um, and it's one of the really high points in, in this Norwich, in the, in the city of Norwich, Mohegan Park is an absolute gem. Uh, very underappreciated in my opinion. It's a glorious park. Um, 
Pratt Street to my right as I head down Boswell Avenue towards downtown Norwich again. A lot of the homes in this area have been uh, rehabilitated in recent years. It's a business called SAR Market to my left. Straight ahead, Mark's Food Mart. Still on Boswell, I'm about to cross Hickory Street. As we proceed down Boswell Avenue, to my right is an evangelical church. Oops, I can't read the name. It's a barber shop on my right. I am going to take a right down Roth Street. I can take a right on red. I'm going to do it. Nobody coming. Square package store directly ahead of me to my right. They sell, of all things, Corona beer. Big sign out front. Okay, we're heading down towards Lake Street. Lake Street would be to my left. It's kind of a narrow street. People park on the street. Grove Street to my left. Pratt Avenue to my right. It's very tight with people parking on the street. One-way street ahead of me called Treadway Avenue. To my left would be Spalding Street. Multi-family homes on both sides of the road, both sides of the street here. Back in the 1800s, a lot of these homes were single-family. Very wealthy people. Condominiums to my right used to be Broadway School, maybe, or I don't, I forget the name, but it was an elementary school. We have a red light. I am on Broad Street. Okay, I'm sorry. Back there was Broad Street School. McKinley Avenue. We will be crossing. I believe it's named after President McKinley. Green light, straight ahead. Let's go. We got a commuter bus in front of us. Take a left on Broadway and head back into downtown Norwich. Beautiful homes to my right. Again, many of them oversized. To my left, huge homes, multi-families now. Years ago, it was a single family. To my left, St. Patrick's Cathedral. The finest architectural structure in the city of Norwich. I think that's undisputed. Nice park to my left. Crossway Street to my left. Right now we're going down Union Street, big hill. A lot of hills in Norwich. Parking on both sides of the road. Kind of narrow driving through here. You gotta be careful, keep your eyes open. City Hall to my left. One of the nicest buildings in uh, which probably one of the nicest buildings in Connecticut, frankly. Very unique. Cafe Otis in front of me. It's, I believe they, they're out of business, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, blinking red light. Directly in front of me is Billy Wilson's Tavern. Um, it's kind of has barriers of cement around it where people can go outside and drink. I don't see anybody out there. No, there's one gentleman having a beer. But that's it. A lot of flags flying. We had 4th of July recently. So now I'm back down in the heart of Norwich. 
straight ahead is the Shannon building many years ago. That building burned to the ground. I believe that was the early 1900s. Um, part, of, part of the Shannon building, I, it seems to be part of it, is the Chamber of Commerce uh, offices in Norwich. Directly to my left is the Connecticut Superior Court. To my right, more law offices. Also to my right, the Harp and Dragon pub and restaurant. To my left is La Stella's Pizza. Large area outdoors where you can eat. Nobody's out there right now. Ice and Fire Chinese and Sushi to my left. Also to my left, the Mercantile Exchange Building. Huge, relatively new building. To my left is the Flatiron Building once again, and it's empty. City of Norwich, fire truck passing by. Doesn't seem to be in a hurry, so he's probably just heading back to the station. Person on a bike to my left, smoking a cigarette. Just press the walk button, which is probably going to hold things up for a little bit. While we got a minute here, I can describe my unit. I'm talking into a shotgun microphone, which goes into a recording device called a Zoom H6. And separately, I'm recording the video on a GoPro Hero 8 Black. Um, I'm shooting at 1080p, 60 frames per second, and I have it set to wide. That does give you a little bit of a kind of a fisheye effect, but it, is, it enables the uh, camera to collect more information. It's wider. You get more data on the left and the right of the screen. Uh, other modes are linear, which gets rid of the fisheye effect, but you do lose a bit of width, which you don't, in other words, you don't see as much. Ooh, green light, people beeping the horn behind me. It's hard to see. All right, let's take a left over the bridge. This is the Thomas F. Sweeney Memorial Bridge, former Norwich politician. I'm going to take a right down here, get the green light, Norwich Fire Department. Again, better view right in front of me. Okay, to my left is Thayer's Trailer Sales, part of Thayer's Marina Supply Company. Another red light, American Ambulance gentlemen, both ambulance drivers, or the driver and the passenger have masks on. Cars passing by, a lot of traffic here. Uh, they're on West Main Street. I am on Thames Street. To my right, American Ambulance Building. It's huge. I always thought it was an unusual location for a place to house that many ambulances because it's not a very steep hill, but it's been extremely successful over many, many years, decades. This tends to be a rather lengthy red light. It's not... Uh, West Main Street definitely gets priority. This is a more lightly traveled road. Or at least this section of the road is... is the travel is rather light where, where I'm sitting right now. Okay, green light. To my left and ahead of me on the, on the ever so slightly is the Norwich Police Department. And they're right on the harbor. They have a view of the, beautiful view of the Norwich Harbor. 
police officer walking right out in front of the building. Glanced over to my vehicle. He, it looks like he took note of the GoPro on the front of the car. It looks like a hood ornament. To my left, I believe they're either apartments or condominiums. As we head up West Thames Street, to my left is a Meineke Car Care Center. Various homes to my left and to my right as the sky gets darker. Brown Street to my right, Stetson Street to my right, Spring Garden Avenue to my right, Nelson Place, which is a dead end, to my left, Coolidge Court to my left, Mitchell Court, Gear Avenue to my right, Engine Number 6 Pizza, Pandora's Box, Mystical Shop to my right, Amazing Wine and Spirits, there's uh, some form of servicing supply corporation on my right. Um, a cafe to my left, I didn't catch the name. Keith's Appliances to my left, Allen Avenue to my right. To my right, we have Perry Avenue. To my left, Bushnell Place. Falvey's Major Collision Center. James Auto to my left. Napa Auto Parts. Falvey's Jeep and Car Sales. To my right, to my left is Ford dealership. It's Gerard. Thames River Place to my right. Uncas on the Thames to my right. Toyota. Charles Toyota to my left. To my Harry's Discount Liquor to my uh, left. To my right is Modelo Bar and Grill. Probably closed due to the coronavirus. I don't know. Northeast Towing and Transport to my right. Gentleman with a mask coming off Jefferson Avenue. Norwich Inn Spa to my right. To my left is Coview Condominiums. So I head down another hill on West Thames Street. To my right is a Connecticut pistol permit shop. Use Autos, Great Oak Pizza to my left. Norwich Nissan to my right. If you want to buy a car, this is a strip you come to. Fleet Pride to my right. Scranton Chevrolet, former Mallon Chevrolet to my left. Mito Sushi to my right. Kitchen open. If I go straight ahead, actually, I just crossed into Montville, if you can believe it. It's, it's the Uncasville section of Montville, but I think that'll probably be short-lived because I'm taking a right which will instantly bring me back into Norwich. That was the town line back there. Um, I'm on New London Turnpike right now. a stamp shop, Miller's Stamp Shop. He collects stamps, sells them, trades them. To my right is Bright Beginnings Child Care Center along with Tilco Corporation. My uh, Norwich Golf Course to my left and to my right. It's an 18-hole golf course. It's been around for probably over 100 years, uh, I would guess. And there's people golfing. We have a thunderstorm coming, but there's folks golfing out there. I mean, why not? Ice cream to my right, Malerba's Golf Driving Range. To my left is the Norwich Ice Rink. Malerba's Farm to my right. 
legendary Malurbis farm. It's been there as long as I can remember. Melrose Park to my right. We are in the East Great Plain section of Norwich. To my left is Norton Avenue. N Norton Avenue. To my right is Three Rivers College. Community College. Beautiful new building. As we get on New London Turnpike. Homes to my left. Homes to my right. Residential. Mainly single family. There's a few here and there that might be um, duplexes, but at least 90% of these homes are single family dwellings. And to my left is a mobile gas station. To my right is that former Shell that I talked about earlier. Shell, it used to be Shell Gas Station many years ago. It was supposed to be a Cumberland Farms and they were supposed to do demolition to that area along with Universal Package Store which was going to be all brand new and that was about two or three years ago and then a lawsuit ensued. I believe it was initiated by the mobile gas station across the uh, street there and ever since then the project has been uh, flatlined. I mean it has nothing. Nothing's happened. It's a parking lot. It's falling apart. Weeds everywhere. Rusty signs. The building's collapsing. And it's kind of in a pop heavily populated area so if something did go in there I assume it would be pretty uh, pretty well used. To my right East Great Plains Fire Company. I'm going to take a quick ride up Pine Street here. I used to take guitar lessons up here years ago. It's a nice little residential area in the East Great Plains section of Norwich. A lot of the roads tend to be a little bumpy um, because over the past few years Norwich has been putting in natural gas lines everywhere, all over the place. And they chop the roads up to pieces. I mean, when, when they're doing the construction, it's, uh, it's a mess, but it's going to be worth it in the end, and eventually they'll repave. Taking a left down Pinecroft Road. Gentleman to my right is mowing the lawn. Juniper Court to my left. That's a dead end. Some more nice homes down here. Ford Avenue. I'm going to take a left onto Ford. And you have raised ranches, split level ranches. Speed limit on this road is 15 miles per hour. In a, in, in, in a real world scenario, if you actually try to drive 15 miles per hour, it's painful. Home under contract for sale to my right. Okay, we're going to jump back out onto New London Turnpike. It's a woman sitting outside observing traffic. And I'm going to play it real safe here, because this is a busy street. Cars to my right, cars to my left. It's a Camaro. Comes up, oh, nope, I'm still going to wait here, folks. A lot of traffic, I don't know what the deal is, but something's going on. All right, let's, let's jump in front of this guy. It's a thank you sign to my right. Uh, Thomas Avenue to my right as well. Thank you is for the COVID-19 workers. To my right is All Friends Animal Hospital. The COVID-19 workers, coronavirus workers, are people that have uh, doctors, nurses, uh, 
excuse me for a moment, Beth Jacobs Synagogue to my right, Stanton, John B. Stanton School to my right. Uh, back to the COVID-19 workers, uh, Gardner Acres Road to my left. These workers have been doing months on end of overtime and just wall to wall work in extremely difficult conditions due to the coronavirus, very dangerous conditions. Um, I mean, my hat's off to them. A lot of thank you signs. Everywhere you look, Norwich Assembly of God Church to my right there, by the way. Bella Wender Drive to my left. Dudley Street to my left. I'm still on the London Turnpike. The London Turnpike is a long road. Montessori Discovery School to my left. It's You can't see it. It's obstructed by trees and shrubs, but it's down there. Now we're going through a stretch of road that there's very few homes, if any, on there. Well, there might be a couple down the end here. But it's a wooded area to my left and a wooded area to my right. A pleasant little break from the businesses and the city. And yeah, as I mentioned earlier to my right, you can't see it, but there's a couple of houses up on the hill in the woods there. As we proceed down to London Turnpike, we are exiting that little wooded area. To my right is Asylum Street. To my right is my oral surgeon is in there. I had a dental implant put in. That's where he works. Rollins Road, Quest Lab, several medical buildings to my right, Norwich Psychiatric Center to my right, Pediatrics to my right, Ice Cream Advertisement, Dr. Deutsch to my right, other buildings, homes, residential area. down Atrabando Avenue, take a left, Gorin's Furniture to my left, it's been there as long as I can remember, I'm currently on Atrabando Avenue and it's getting dark, uh, I'm not far from home so let's see if we can make it before we get drenched. More thank you signs. People very appreciative of the work done by the doctors, the nurses, medical professionals, maintenance people, and everybody in between. If I went right, I would be going down Pleasant Street. McClellan Avenue was to my left. Another thank you sign. It's nice to see. We're going to be passing under a small bridge. Above us is Interstate 395 North. Commercial building for sale to my left. To my left is General Cosmetic and Implant Dentistry. Also to my left, Norwich Little League. To my right is Norwich Town Veterinarian. That's my vet. We'll bring my cat down there. I'm going to be taking a ride onto Warwicka Street. I'm going to be passing under a small bridge, and uh, that's a railroad crossing above us. Or a train would go over that bridge. Another bridge um, that was installed in 2005 is, uh, go, goes over the Yannick River. 
Hart's greenhouse would be down to my left if I took a left down that street. Car wash to my right. You can rent U-Hauls to my right. To my left is a karate uh, school. To my right is mobile gas station. To my left is Shell. And we've come full circle.